All right, working on the 4L65 project today. And as you can see, I got quite the mess going on. So kind of first things first, I've got to clean all this up and get this bench cleaned up and just kind of get everything organized. But as I was talking about in the other video, the lower planetary is what failed or rear planetary is what a lot of people call it. Um, it was the five pinion. Honestly, it just looked like it failed from a bunch of miles on it. What I was talking about in the other video is um, basically how to go about replacing that and our different options. It's basically, I did price it in a new set. Um, basically, with all the parts, you're going to replace the upper and the lower because of all the heat that's in there. I mean, even though the lower is what failed, the upper got all that heat in it. It's all trash. Well, to replace those sets, you're going to have $700 in parts between those two planetary sets. It's kind of ridiculous. We could go to a four pinion planetary, but it's a bit of a downgrade. Um, people kind of argue back and forth, but generally the five pinion stuff is better. So what I was talking about was trying to find a used set, um, basically a core transmission that I could tear down and take those five pinion planetaries out of. Problem is, is a 4L65 that has the five pinion planetaries isn't super common, um, but if you find one, you can potentially get those planetaries for cheap. Well, kind of what I was talking about is exactly what we ended up with, is I actually got on Facebook Marketplace, I found this 4L65 out of a 04 uh, Silverado SS. Um, so it was a four wheel drive unit, but that doesn't matter. Um, the only difference is the output shaft. But again, I'm not using that transmission, I'm just using the parts out of it. This one, uh, the guy said it was slipping and uh, he had noticed someone else had been in it before. You can see the silicone all around that pan. Basically, he kept it as a core um, in case he was going to ever rebuild one. So, perfect. Uh, he was asking $100 for it, paid him $100 for it. It was worth the $100 gamble, in my opinion. So, here's what we have out of it is, in fact, your upper five pinion planetary. Everything looks good. I went through this earlier and went through everything on this. So this planetary set is perfectly fine. I do, or I am going to do a final inspection on it all before I install it, but we got the upper. So everything you see that I'm taking apart is what I'm gonna be reusing because of all the damage from that other set. And there's our lower set as well, five pinion. So as you can see, it does kind of work out sometimes is I just went on Marketplace, looked for a 4L65, um, preferably one that was damaged, you know, burned up just to rebuild the whole core. And I was going to take the gamble if I could get one cheap enough to get these parts out of. So ended up working out pretty good in this scenario. doesn't always work out that way. Like I said, it is a gamble. But I just want to show you guys, it absolutely is possible. Paid $100 for $700 planetary set. Now used, you can find, find these online. Um, it looked right around that $330 to $350, which isn't terrible, but kind of works out much better. Um, now I end up with another pump, uh, another input uh, turbine shaft or input shaft with the drum. And these ones are actually heat treated, so these are the better ones as well, since it's a 4L65. So, pretty awesome. I'm happy with that. I got to get a bunch of parts cleaned up and kind of start going through this thing, getting it ready for rebuild now. But I just wanted to show you guys that, yeah, parts are available. You can find these 4L65s. If you do find them for cheap, even if they're burned up, and there's good parts inside. That'll be it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.